cheek up to the north, yeah. Hugging my light right from the Oh, that whistle note, it's so good. Welcome back to Houston Life, everyone. Did you catch this audition last night on NBC's The Voice? Well, guess what, people? That was local teacher Constance Howard, who wowed the judges with her version of Peaches by Justin Bieber. One of my favorite songs. And when she's not singing on that national stage, Constance is teaching at Franz Elementary School in Katy. And guess what? She is here with us today to talk about that experience. Constance, welcome to Houston Life. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Girlfriend, you brought the house down on The Voice. We are so excited for you. Can you even believe, when you look at that video or hear yourself or whatever, you think about that moment, did you even retain it? Because I can't even imagine what was going through your head at Honestly, that moment. Honestly, I felt like I blacked out a little bit. <laughs> and when I got the first chair turn, I wasn't prepared to get it so early if I was going to get one. So um, I just had to kind of focus and say keep keep sinking don't don't mess up don't veer off so that was it was an interesting experience and I'm just so grateful for it. Is it the type of situation Constance where you sort of prepare for the worst but hope for the best because some contestants get up there and the chairs don't turn you were lucky to have multiple chairs turn. Absolutely you definitely have to prepare yourself and just prepare to give your absolute best performance because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and that's what I kind of had to tell myself. Well, it's really fantastic, and I know, uh, as we mentioned, when you're not singing, uh, you're in the classroom, you're in front of uh, kids for elementary school, teaching all kinds of uh, different grades without within the elementary school, but um, I hear that you were pretty shy as a child, and your parents made you join choir. You gotta tell us a little bit about this. I was actually very shy. I started singing in church, and my parents knew at a very young age that I had a gift and a talent. So they did encourage me to join choir and to go out for the school talent shows. And they actually got me in the studio and they put a lot of time and investment into that. So they had a strong belief that one day I would have a chance like this to do what I do. That is incredible. <laughs> Big shout out to your parents, by the way, who are just off stage here. They're with you today. When you see other young people out there who maybe remind you of yourself when you were a child, maybe they're a little more introverted. What have you taken from your life experience into the classroom to help these young people sort of come out of their shell? One of the things that I always tell my students no matter what the situation may be, no matter what your dream is, just go after it. Don't ever judge yourself and think, oh, I don't look a certain way or, you know, I don't fit this certain standard to be who I want to be. Never put yourself inside of a box and just go for it. Yeah, just don't let going. anybody uh, dim your light. And we're Never. so glad that that's, that's your shining bright. Okay, you so that much. whistle note yes, we that we heard, discuss. we've got to talk about this. It, 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 John Legend blew his mind. It, it blew the whole house, okay? How did you learn that? Well, I actually learned my whistle notes from being in choir. Um, my choir teacher would actually go on the piano and she would warm me up um, with the rest of the class and there were certain parts where some of us would drop out as she got higher and I would keep going and she's like you can go higher you can go higher so that's something that I started, you know, actually using, and she was very encouraging it's growing awesome. up. It's awesome. It's so cool stuff. that you discovered it. I can't whistle. I can't sing either, but we're going to leave it You're to you. You're giving Mariah Carey thank a run for her money, because that whistle note on her is pretty oh, impressive. thank you so much. Constance Howard, we're so proud to call you one of our own. Please stay in touch. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. So Best great to luck. see you on The Voice. It's awesome. Thank and you. a reminder, you can catch The Voice right here on KPRC Channel 2, Monday and Tuesday nights at 7 p.m.